Bruce, George. Watch this. These guys know what up means. Up. Up. Watch this. George. Up. It's terrible. Come on, George. Up, George. Up. Up. Good boy. Up. Trust me. Oh, bridge hold them. Hold on. Sorry. Up and show the reaction of the bridge. Good boy. Good boy. My, my cats are like dogs. You see, that's the car loading. You see how it deflects? Awesome. Thanks a lot for the support there. The YouTube uh, community needs you in this, rec in this uh, your service. Yep. There's the deflection of the deck. I can't beat what he's doing right now, guys. To show reactions and loading and how it's lifting up on one end. I mean, this is just too, too friggin' awesome. I was going to do a video to try to show you these reactions. Uh, yet it leashed up. That's my boys. The girl can go free when she's can, but the boys, they're like, they're like, they're like follow me cats. They uh, follow each other. Hold on. Just free up your Brucey a little bit. Brucey needs a little uh, freedom. Anchor him down though. George, George is, George is amazing. Look, you see he goes near the end with his overhang. Is the overhang where the one engineer wanted me to talk about it, where it's just not connected to the wall. The closer you are to the column. There we go. Now we get some deflection. That's a car park there. Okay, he's stepping off the deck. And who knows where he'll go next. Let's see what Georgie will test for us next. He's doing an inspection. Looking for reinforcement. It's looking pretty shady down here, doesn't it? That sort of supports the other lady's thing. What's under here? Mm. Yeah, this looks shady. Look shady, right? What do you think? Let's give another shot in the middle, George. Let's see if we can show him what it looks like in the middle. George, right here. Come here. Right here. Come on. Right here, George. I need you here. Come on. Come on. Good boy. A little bit more. Good boy. All right. So I don't feed them the snacks or anything to get them to do this. Georgie, uh, my, my, I treat them like dogs. I, I treat, I've tre always treated my cats like dogs. So, uh, I, I believe they have a vocabulary just as good as a damn dog. So, they're a little more, you know, they're not so much, uh, they're more independent. But, let's go to this deck. And you see the deflection when you, and the strain, this helps you with the, okay, a finite infinite program. It, it tries to show you what's going on, but this thin piece of metal can show you what's going on. Loading here gets you a reaction here on the edge of the columns even. You can see if I load here how it changes how it changes based on the column. Go ahead. Go ahead. He wants to get up here too. Probably because he wants some uh, attention or something. No? Okay, so that was what it looks like when the cars drive down it, how it uh, changes its, uh, its profile. You saw the stresses in the deck. Now, to resist those stresses, you put reinforcement rebar in there to stop those stresses. So you would you reinforce it with with rebar. Okay, so we find the columns. Unless, no, in this case, we we'll find the columns. We we'll reinforce the edge. You see automatically what's happening there. It's not. It's not. It's a concrete. Is let me get down the camera a little bit for you guys. So it's like a built-up beam you're making out of instead of just steel like this one. You're making it out of concrete. You're using this the steel being its capable its capabilities and tension to when you encapsulating concrete to resist that flexual uh, the flexing the, the deflection. And that's what you're doing here. So this is this is a metal one. The concrete one is again used uh, using steel. We have uh, our assistant here. It looks like we need another assistant. Bruce, up, oh. Bruce. Bruce is uh, very intelligent. He's not, he's a little, let's see if I can get another, another pier in here. Let's, let's, let's put this on the wall. It's gonna change the profile a bit. You're okay, George. Because now it's up and that's not really fair. Let's do this. starts you see the reaction in there let's see if I can do uh, in here 
See the wave? Hopefully you can see the wave. Well, George showed it. George showed it better than I did with his uh, with his walking around the deck. All right, George. Now let's see. Now the deck all of a sudden starts fracturing. The rebar fra and it fractures because over time the cycling. Right? We talked about cycling in the other video where I showed you with the backhoe. Where you how you can break concrete through cycling. Same thing with, re with rebar when it rusts. I had a sample out here. Okay. When it rusts. I had a better sample than this somewhere. Oops. Oh, well, you'll get what you get. You'll get what you get for free. So look, when it rusts, it expands. Now, someone was quite upset. I didn't know whether they were upset at me or upset that they're uh, at the rebar not having concrete on it, they asked. Well, rebar and concrete, they don't build, they don't make us, this, this is not a cake. They're, they have to, the, the, the cake is the, is the concrete mix. That then encapsulates around this metal. They do not become one. The steel and the concrete depends on the grip force of the concrete on the steel, how the steel will react once it's loaded, once the deck starts trying to deflect. They're not one though, as you can see in evidence and proof in all your uh, demolition or whatever you'll see, the rebar is always able just to pop right off the concrete. The concrete then is still one. You can still see the, how it froze in time, how it, was, how it is concrete. Sample, sample. Nothing around here to show you a sample of that, but um, I got plenty of videos to come, so you, you got to be patient with me as I stack the data for you and you start seeing the data. But the uh, this came off, of, this is an engineered truss, a uh, floor choice, and you saw in the other video where I said it's weld, welding going on. This is embedded in that concrete, and then the weld can take place from the concrete to the steel. The embedment bar is this. It's got a little deformation in it, uh, very dimply like. You don't need much to hold it in place. Let's, let's end the video with uh, George giving us another walkthrough. Oh, he's underneath. He's doing it. Yeah, he's underneath doing inspections. Let's see here. George, you doing an inspection? Come here for a second. <laughs> That's going to be a tough one. I don't think he wants to come out of there. That's just water from the kicking over. George, come here. I need you up on deck. Come here, George. George, come on. Come on, up. George. George. Come on, Georgie. Georgie. No, that's a, that's a tough sell to get him out of there. He likes that. He likes boxes, too. George, come here. George. Good boy. Up. George, up for me. Yep. No, no, I'm up here. George, up. Up here, up here. I'm pointing. See, I'm just pointing, guys. Georgie knows how to. Up a little more. Come on, come on. Good boy. Oh, it's pulling on his chain. Thank you, Georgie. Thank you. All right. Thank you, boy. So you see the loading. How, if you think of a finite element program, this would be a way you could see the forces, how they would react. You could scale this even, and you could see the forces. You don't need a computer model to do it. You just need a cat model. This is a cat program I'm running right now. In case you guys didn't catch me on the beginning of the video, this is a cat program I'm running. Oh, I fucking love it. Anyway, so this is my cat program, CAD program, cat program. And you can see how you can visualize it with the metal now. Hopefully that will help you understand it. But I can't help it. Hey, Bruce, what's up, dog? Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry, Bruce. Brick holding you back. Anchor. Uh, Bruce, can you do a tire for us? Tire, Bruce, come on. Good boy. Uh oh, no. No, the leg, leg instead. All right, anyway, there's my cat program. Take care, guys. Everybody, I think is that one engineer says I should run it on a finite element program. There's my finite element program right there. Uh, Bruce, run by uh, George. And well, Bruce did the first testing. You guys missed it. He jumped on there. He saw the failure and he's never got on it again. All right. Bruce, you're going to come up. Come on, Bruce. Come on. Come on. Stop being a, stop being a, a whatever. 